In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the code HATCH in the NetLogo program. So what exactly is HATCH? HATCH is a code term used to make turtles already located on the world, so ones you've already created in your setup, to reproduce to make additional turtles. So for example, say you started with two turtles, in our case, happy faces, and you use the HATCH code to make three turtles. So now you have a total of three turtles on your world. Um, then post the question, when would I use hatch while coding? Um, you would use hatch in any instance when the running of the simulation, you decide to gradually or all at once add additional turtles to your world. So in this case, say you started with a total of 20 turtles and you decided that as the go process is going, you wanted to add up to 50 turtles. This is when you would use hatch. So, before using Hatch, you must already know how to do three things. The first being create turtles and edit them to your specific liking. So, whether that be the shape, the size, the X and Y coordinates, you just need to know how to use turtles. The next being setting up a Go button on your interface because um, Hatch all traces back to the Go button. And last, getting turtles you created to move around in the world. So you must already know how to move them forward, all that great stuff. So now let's get how to actually use the code on the NetLogo program. So you can see here, this is our interface. Um, and if we're looking at our, our code, you can see that we already have our basic setup necessities. So created our turtles all in the setup section and now you want to write the code to go because this is all goes on our go button and you can see that we have created a go button on our interface so the first thing that you want to do is ask turtles now this is where you can get creative and you can ask whichever turtles that you like so say you have on your interface or on your world rather yellow turtles and you only want the yellow turtles to hatch then you could ask turtles if p color equals yellow in our case we have ask if any other turtles in radius one so the turtles in the radius of one to hatch so once you've gotten that down and you've decided what you want it to do you want to open a new bracket and hatch one now the number can change it could be hatch one hatch five hatch 20 however many you want to hatch and then you could see that we've set x, y, random on both of them, but you could set the x and y coordinates to specific coordinate to hatch those two. So once you have done that, you have successfully started hatching on your go button. So if you go to your interface and set it up and go, you can see that through the process, they eventually and gradually start hatching many, many new fish. So you can see there's a lot of fish. By the end of it, you might have something like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on how to use the code HATCH, and I hope I answered some of your questions. Thank you for watching.